Hello, what's up YouTube? Bronis to Air and Nitro and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can easily get rid of those hot spots in your images. So let me, let me first of all give you an understanding about how these hot spots come about in photos. So basically hot spots are those areas whereby maybe someone is having an oily or shiny skin that when light hits on that area, it tends to be way brighter and the light reflects so much and creates that kind of whitish feel so this tends to make the skin have a way different color from the rest of the surrounding skin so in this tutorial I'll show you how you can easily get rid of those hot spots from your portraits in Photoshop using frequency separation and in this case I'm going to be using my frequency separation action and an empty layer that is going to help you remove or eliminate that hotspot from the images and before you can proceed I just request that you hit the like button on this video so that YouTube can push it and recommend it to more people out there who are interested in or who are having the same issue in Photoshop or in photography in general so let me just hope you have hit the like button on this video so I'm just going to come to my actions right here those interested in purchasing my actions or my skin retouching essentials pack the link is going to be in the description of this very video so that you can support this channel for the content I keep on creating for you. So I'm just going to come right here and I'm going to play my 16-bit frequency separation action. You can see this is a 16-bit Im image. I'm just going to come right here and I'm going to play my frequency separation 16-bit action. And as it is playing, this doesn't matter when you're trying to eliminate that hotspot. The radius may not matter but if I told you you really want the best out of the image, just look for the right radius and I think at about 7, that's when we start closing out on those details or textures in this image and I'm just going to come and hit OK and the action is going to continue playing. So remember this tutorial is more of eliminating or reducing on the intensity of this hot spot or this over brightened area in the image. I'm just going to close this in a bit. And right now, don't need the black and white layer. I could just come and I delete that layer because that helps us in frequency separation. And what we're going to be using in this tutorial is going to be this layer within my action of frequency separation. So this empty layer, that is what we're going to be using in this tutorial. So I'm just going to come to the brushes and right click and get my brush. And the brush is going to be at an opacity of let's go with around 10 percent and make sure it is a white brush and this color doesn't matter actually this color shouldn't matter because we're just going to be copying and painting color so remember we just want to sample and paint in color within the skin to get rid of this over whitened area because it tends to look a little bit awkward in the photo so what we want to do just want to sample the colors that are next to this area and in order to sample we're just going to hold down the alternate key on the keyboard and that is going to bring up the eyedropper tool and simply click on a color that is close to uh, that area that is over whitened or that area that has a white spot and as we do this you can see it has sampled that color so what we want to do is just going to increase on the size of our brush by using the open and close brackets or the box brackets on the keyboard and you're just going to come and start painting through that white uh, that hot spot just like that so you have to come and sample different colors because it shouldn't make it look flat so just come right here and sample a color that is close to that area. And just come and start painting through just like that. Sample from here and just try painting right there. And we're just going to continue doing this until when we feel like we are really comfortable uh, with the results that we have at hand. So let's see what we have so far. This is a before, after, before, after. But I feel like it is a little bit overboard or it is a little bit too much. So I'm just going to come and I slightly reduce on the opacity 
just like that so you can see the before and after for that area and that hot spot is gone and the face looks a little bit more even so you can even come and work on the forehead so don't over paint just paint nicely just like that and you can use the same process if at all you want to get rid of those uh, dark knuckles and you can just hold on the alternate to sample and just come and paint just like that and you can use the same to retouch the image to even out the skin color or skin tones so let's see what we have in the before and after before after you can see what we have just eliminated or we have just gotten rid of that hot spot that was in uh, the image and this looks a little bit better because this was looking somehow awkward because this white hot spot or this hot spot was not on the other side of her face and it was looking a little bit unbalanced and right now it is looking somehow balanced so this is how to get rid of those hot spots from the images in Photoshop using frequency separation and if at all you have found this helpful don't forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you have been watching and you're not subscribed to this channel Ronix from Ronix Photographers thank you for watching I'll see you in yet more amazing shows and don't forget to keep practicing and keep creating